Hi, this is Justin with Discover Stuff. Today I'm going to take you through the process of creating an account on the site. First thing we're going to do is come up to the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. It'll take you to this page that explains the different account types available on the site. All personal accounts are free with unlimited listings. These are the primary accounts on the site. Businesses do have a couple of options. We do allow businesses to post a single listing for free. They are limited, so anytime that they try to post a second or third listing, they're going to be requested to bump to the Business Pro account. Now, the Business Pro account is $3 a month and $0.50 cents per listing. Uh, we find it's a very economical way to promote your business. For this demonstration purpose, we're going to click the Sign Me Up link underneath the Personal account. Here's the Account Details page. We do need you to fill out all of these fields. Now the, the one to start with is the username. This will be a visible uh, field that people will see when they're looking at your listings or communicating with you. So if you have privacy concerns, you're going to want to make this something random and not specific to your name. I'm not that concerned about that right now, so I'm just going to use Justin McClellan. Email address. This does need to be an email address that you use because you will get a, an activation email that you'll need to click in order to make your, your account active. Also, anytime people are communicating with you on the site, you will get updates via this email address. You need to put in your address. And don't worry, each time you post a listing, you'll have the option of hiding your address and your phone number so users do not see it. Again, a privacy concern issue. Start typing in the, the city that you're in. And it'll have this pop-up that tells you the city and the states, cities and states available. Choose Hayes, Kansas. Phone number. And then a password. Now, again, just like any password on any site, you need to make this something that isn't easily guessed, um, but you want to make sure that you do remember it as well. And then you confirm the password and click the sign up link. Now it tells you, it comes back and tells you the registration is complete and you will be receiving an email with a link. Now make sure that you check your email. You also want to make sure that you check your spam and your virus folders on your email client just in case it gets delivered there because you cannot do anything further with the site as far as communicating with users, with buyers and sellers or placing listings until you have activated your account. So that's all you need to do to create an account on the site. If you have any questions, please email us at info at discoverstuff.com. Thank you.